We should look at using the technology to individualize care as opposed to um, just taking standard cookie cutter, one size fits most practice that we're applying currently to X number of patients a year and then using technology to magnify that by 10X, right? So. I think one of the big areas or ethical considerations that we need to pay attention to, especially when implementing emerging technologies in healthcare settings, really revolves around a few different angles, right? You've got the the what happens to the data piece, which is very big, informed consent, which is very big, and then this whole new, well, relatively new um, topic around artificial intelligence and algorithmic learning and, and all of that. So let's talk about each one up front, and then we'll kind of dive into each. So informed consent. Obviously, whenever we're implementing anything in healthcare, whether it be a new treatment technique, uh, an assessment, a process, whatever, clinically, we always want to get, and even in research, we always want to get informed consent. We want the, the patient or the user to understand what the, the technology, in this case, or the tool is going to be used for, how the information is going to be used within the context of their receiving care at this organization, and, and everything there. So we want the, the user to understand what the, what the tool or technology or device is, um, how it's going to be used in their care, and then any potential um, considerations, right? Whether it be a risk, whether it be um, an impact to their care, uh, financial implications of financial costs, um, transparency throughout the healthcare system is sorely lacking anyway. So we want to make sure that especially when we're implementing a new technology or a tool or a device, um, that whoever's going to be using it understands all of that, what, what it's going to be used, what it is, how it's going to be used, how it's going to impact their care, and if there's any financial implications around that. Do, are they, is this something their insurance isn't covering and they're going to have to pay out of pocket? Or, you know, is it going to impact their insurance benefits or, you know, the the number of allowed visits or, or whatever it is. So informed consent, put that away. The next issue is around um, what happens to the data and how it's being used. <laughs> so again, this might fall under informed consent. So this is the data we're collecting. This is how it's going to be used. It's going to be anonymized or it's not going to be anonymized. We're going to be reusing this data for research purposes or for product development or whatever it is. I think especially especially with personal healthcare information, which is already protected by HIPAA, and there's all kinds of guidelines around that, we want to make sure that we're just being very uh, upfront, transparent, and following the the regulations around the use of that data and where it, where it gets stored, how it gets stored, access, you know, who is going to have access to this and who's not going to have access to this, how are we mediating that, how are we monitoring that, how are we making sure that... Um, the data is not getting into hands that it shouldn't be getting into, right? And then the other piece, the final piece, is really this whole area of algorithmic learning, uh, artificial intelligence, and how that's going to impact care. I think one of the big, one of the big uh, sticking points, if you would, when you talk to anybody around uh, in the clinic about artificial intelligence, you get um, this thought of, well, you know, we don't want a technology to replace clinicians. Um, and I don't think that's ever going to be the case, right? Healthcare is a human experience. It's one person skilled in the art of healing, helping another person on their own unique road to recovery. Where, where technology has a lot of impact and a lot of potential is around empowering those clinicians to deliver a higher standard of care, right? Clinical decision-making aids, um, using, for example, maybe a webcam or a smartphone to take a video in the musculoskeletal space, which is where I'm from, for example, taking a video of, of a patient's movement and then analyzing symmetries and asymmetries and potential areas to address in a in physical or in-person assessment can be hugely helpful. However, one of the big ethical considerations that we'd want to keep in mind as we're rolling out and implementing some of these technologies is that we are still using our own clinical decision uh, making process and skills as opposed to relying solely on the algorithm or the tool or the technology um, because it's not one, it's not very skilled, but we owe it to the the patients who are coming and wanting individualized care. So when we're, when we're implementing new and emerging technologies, the end goal should be that, that we are able to 
take what, what once was not possible, which was super individualized care, um, because everything was based off of high volume fee for service business models where there just isn't the time in a, in a given day to spend the amount of time required to individualize a treatment plan for an individual patient. Sure, you can do um, individual factors here and there and rough guidelines and frameworks. Technology really has the ability, some of these technologies really have the ability to, to be very tailored and very specific to an individual patient. So it would be an ethical, uh, it would be ethics gone awry if you would, non-ethical if you would, to simply rely on using it just to expand or scale cookie cutter or nondescript treatment programs just on more people, right? We should look at using the technology to individualize care, make it more um, appropriate, specific, um, individual specific to their context, their situation, as opposed to um, just taking standard cookie cutter, one size fits most practice that we're applying currently to X number of patients a year and then using technology to magnify that by 10X, right? So that those would be my big ethical considerations when we're talking about using emerging technologies specifically in a healthcare setting.